coming at you with a call from our 989 agent, John Kent. And he's saying, uh, hey, Chance, like uh, we traded you to the Astros. And I'm just like, excuse me, you what? You traded me to the Astros, of all people. No one likes the Astros. This manager doesn't even like the Astros. He doesn't want to be here. Chance doesn't want to be here. And at the beginning of the season, he goes, Chance, you're uh, in the last year of your contract. Do you, uh, you're on this team that's not so great. Do you want to, uh, maybe trade? I said, no, I don't want to finish season out with the Braves. But we'll trade for this Elijah guy, Elijah Bruno. Okay, Elijah Bruno, let's see how you are. Oh, my Lord. The Braves got finessed. They traded me for Elijah Bruno, a guy who's batting 248 with five home runs. Oh, my Lord. What happened, Atlanta? What did you do? This guy is garbage, and you only, you traded me one for one for him? I'm sorry, but that is the singular worst trade ever, and the Astros are under 500. So not only did they trade us from a team I told them I did not want to get traded from, we got traded to a team that was sub-500. We're like Ken Griffey Jr. when he got traded to the White Sox right now. Yeah, that's how bad it is. We're like the White Sox Ken Griffey Jr. You know, the White Sox, New York Yankees, Kevin Euculus. That is, this is ugly. Oh, this is so gross. Why are we wearing orange? This is not what I signed up for. Bishop, though, calling out that second baseman there. He's not going to have it. Yeah, Forrest Whitley. It's probably the best thing on this team is Forrest Whitley. He's probably like 39, though, because every time I go to a team, they're always super old. Top of the third, Chance Bishop flying out. So not even doing great in our debut for the Houston Asterix. Not a fan of being here, I'm going to tell you that now. Bottom of the third, defense. Can I, just, can I just botch all the defensive plays from now on until... You're a free agent. You go somewhere. We don't. We, we want to go to like I don't know Arizona. They go to the Angels or something. Go to like a small market team. Top of the fifth grounder. You know, in front of shortstop still he makes the play. But I'm not sure what they rule that one. That could have been an infield single. Top of the sixth. Bishop sends that one deep to right field, splitting the gap. I mean, it's gonna really well split the gap. It's gonna be an RBI grand rule double. Top of the eighth, Asher's up eight to three. Bishop sends that one down the right field line. It's going back. It's going deep. Can it be gone? And yes, that one's gone. Twenty ninth bomb on the season four chance. Bishop, you love to see it. First home run as a member of the Asterix. You don't love to see it. It's like top ten anime betrayals all time. You know, getting traded to. The Astros, our man. I'm sorry. I need to. I need to call our agent. We need to drop our agent. We need to get Scott Boris on the phone because that is what that is what's happening here. Scott Boris. We need him now. Like, I'm sorry. We need to get our high school coach back and call Scott Boris because we are not going to be with the Astros. I guarantee it. I know. I teased when we were with. The Braves two seasons ago when we got injured and we didn't really sign a contract with him. I know I teased us leaving, but we didn't leave. I'm telling you guys now, we will not be a member of the Astros come the end of or come the beginning of next season. I am sorry about that, guys. If you guys are Astros fans and you like my channel, it's okay if you leave a dislike because I don't want to play for your team. I'm not going to be offended. But if you guys don't like the Astros and you're excited and you like my content that I don't want to be a part of this organization, feel free to smash that like button. Let's go for .2 likes. Yep, .2 likes. That's a great like number. Now, after ranting aside, bottom of the third inning, Chance Bishop. Going to play some defense, though. Can't entirely botch our, you know, our stock, our draft stock, or you know, our free agent you know, value stock. Now Bishop gets the double, uh, gets the out right there. So we thought it was, thought it was two outs, but not only one out. So not a not great situational awareness for Chance. Bomb of the fourth Bishop. 
ranging back into the out. So he's showing you his range. And he's going to call for second baseman for the out right there. First out of the fourth inning. All right, though. So at least we can play defense still pretty well. One bright spot. Top of the fifth. Bishop pops that one sky high. And I mean, that was just gross. That was gross, and that was bad, and that, I do not want to see that again at a chance, Bishop. I am ashamed, offended, hurt, and I don't know what else I could be, but not not what I wanted. Top of the seventh, around the horn, four double play, Bishop not doing what he wants to do. Now, taking off familiar foe in the Washington Nationals, sends that one into the gap, and one part of playing the National League for so long, playing not for the Miami Marlins, but... The Hotlanta Braves is we have to play the Nationals a lot, so we do hit Nationals pitching very well. As soon as I say that, we strike on the curveball. So that would just editor cut that out, please. Editor, can you cut that out so we don't see that, please? Thank you. Okay. All right, back to defense because we didn't just strike out right there. Wow, that was brutal. Not a great double play to say the least. We got we got uh, a out somehow, and I'm pretty sure you know, we can safe, but whatever. Now, top of the sixth inning sends that one deep to right center field. And that one's going to clear that big right field wall right there. A solo shot, our 30th on the season. Second as a member of the Houston Astros. And, well, hey, what goes around comes around as Chance Bishop, you know, some things just don't change. You know, you trade a power hitting first baseman, and guess what? The Astros, unfortunately, got a power-hitting first baseman that is not going to tank his season just because he doesn't play for the team he's on. Top of the eighth. Remember when I said he doesn't want to tank his season for the team he's playing on? Maybe I'm not telling the full truth. Who knows? Bomb the eighth bishop. Plays that one nicely. Steps on the bag for the first out of the eighth inning. Okay, Mendoza, you can just walk through the bag right there. Please leave the field. Yep, thank you. Now, two men on. I don't understand. Why, why are the Astros buyers at not even the deadline? We're in the second month of the season, third month of the season. We're not at the All-Star game yet. Next episode's the All-Star game. So, they, for some reason, traded... For a premier player, I guess because we're such a bargain bin player, we only got traded for a B potential. I don't know. The more and more I think about this trade during this episode, the more I'm confused because it makes less and less sense to me. The Braves here have a player on an expiring contract who's 30. They don't know if he's going to be, you know, if he's going to resign or not. But they traded him for a declining 30-year-old player, B potential, and we're A potential, 99 overall, and he was like, what, 80, 84, 87 overall? And they're just a one-for-one one trade? Is it like when you have a player on your team you don't want and you trade him for anyone and you don't care if it's like a D potential prospect in franchise mode? It's like, oh, yeah, it's a steal of a trade. Of course we'll take it. Is that what just happened there? I mean, I, that's kind of what happened there. There's like, we don't want chance for the team here. Take him. Who wants him? First one that calls us, he gives us a trade. We'll, we'll trade him for him. Uh, this, just, this trade just makes less and less sense because we're losing this game. So I believe we're still under 500. We haven't won four games this episode to make it to 500. By the top of the ninth inning, Chance Bishop sends that one to right center field. Not going to be a home run, though. Already even a double. So unfortunately there. Now, final game of this episode, I do believe, unless I'm wrong and I miscounted what the games he played. But she just strikes out, and uh, his speed forces the error by the catcher. Okay. Not something chance did when he was a catcher. But watching strike three go by, second strike out of the game for a chance. Top of the fifth, Bishop sends that one to right field. And right field is going to casually coast under it for the out. Now, bottom of the fifth inning, here we go. Can we play some stellar defense at least? Maybe? I mean, we're not doing well hitting. Bunt defense, pop-up bunt. Okay, I'm not sure why you're popping up a bunt on with two outs in the inning. But, hey, you can bring the razzle-dazzle, that's fine. Bishop drawing a walk, though, okay. We're doing things, I guess. 
Now, bottom of the seventh inning, Chance Bishop. Stellar defense. There we go. Chopper to Chance. Backhands it over to first base, steps on the bag in time for the second out of the inning. Now, top of the ninth inning, here we go, Bishop. Sends that one to deep center field. Zephyr ranges back, he's at the wall. And he cannot make the jump to get that one, though. That's going to be a long home run. 420 feet. The center field, 103.5 off the bat is that exit velocity for the 31st home run of the season four chance Bishop. I mean, absolutely love to see that one right there as Chance Bishop just continues his torrid home run pace. You know, last year he had, what, 64, 5, 6 home runs? I mean, 31 home runs out of the All-Star break this year. Maybe he's looking at the same pace. Maybe he's looking at number 73. That, uh, that would be something. Would definitely be something that we do get that win in this game at least. So we're not happy about the trade. But we do get a win to end the episode, which is always a good thing. So guys, down in the comments below, I know I usually ask for comments like, Hey, tell us where he wants to play. But tell us where he wants to play because I am openly saying I don't want to be a member of the Astros. Chance Bishop will go to the media today and say he is, has no intention of signing with this team. That is a waste of a trade, and as much as, you know, Elijah Bruhan was a bad trade for the Braves, I mean, they somehow are still win this because Chance Bishop is going to leave this team. Fun text from YouTube, though. Peace out. Rock on, Super Classy, and uh, boo the Astros. Never seen them just boo.